And we are with the women's champion, Nazi Pakidzi, playing fantastic chess throughout the entire event, a deserving champion. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. How does it feel after all the hard work, all the effort, 11 days, all the gym workouts, <laughs> what does it feel like right now to be the champion of the country? I'm still shaky. I, I cannot believe this happened. Sorry, this is going to be a very emotional interview probably. Um, I feel like I'm in a dream because coming to this game, I knew that chances of me winning with black and thought of losing was extremely small. And then I got a good position. I, I probably was winning somewhere before and I missed it probably somewhere, and then I look at Tadev's game and she resigns, and I almost freaked out. I was like, I just blew my game probably, and then I had to win it again, calm down and win it again. This is all just and you had crazy. To, and you had to beat Irina Crush, a, a seven-time champion with the black pieces. That's a totally tall order on any day. You'd be happy to draw. True. <laughs> and yet you started playing these moves, knight, e4, knight d5, f5. What were you feeling when you were making these moves on the board? Well, uh, going to the game, um, I just wanted to go all in. And I was not happy with the opening because I got such a positional um, position and she was better and that was pretty disappointing. And then as soon as I got the chance to complicate position, I didn't even think about it. I just went for it. She played F4 actually, giving you that chance yes. and you played B5 yes. right away. Did you work out all these tactics? No. Or you just, <laughs> no. You just no, went into it. it was just uh, intuition. Uh, there were moments when you could have won, yes. You had some night discoveries yeah. in the position. You, did you see those? Were you looking at them? Were was, you, you were afraid to go for them because it might have been a mistake there? Yeah, I was calculating night d3. I probably spent like 20 minutes instead of night e3. I just couldn't calculate that she had so many moves. Uh, bishop takes d5 and on king f8, I think she definitely had some compensation. So I had to go king h8. And um, if she manages to bring her rook or queen on h5, I'm checkmated. So. I didn't want to risk it because I thought after 93 I still had good winning chances, so I felt more safe playing that. Yeah, 93 was definitely winning, and, and apparently right. King H7 was the best King move. King H7? Yeah, wow. King H7, you, allowing G6, King H6, which was super sharp. Wow. <laughs> but even in the next move, you had, knight, you had 93 twice. She gave it to you again. Even here, yeah. knight D3 was also, not, not this move, knight D3. And if she uh, takes? That was happened to be winning. If she takes, just play knight takes on G2. G2. Queen and F1? and you're discovering on her rook. I thought my, oh, I thought after queen f2 my knight was stuck, I just have knight e3. Your knight comes back out on e3, so blind spot there, but you were, you were still dominant through, except the one moment she, she could have maybe equalized, but you started playing very positionally, you control the game, like you said, did you worry at the end that she had built a fortress, or did you feel like you were going to break through? Uh, so after she took on c5 and she was left with the bishop on a5, I felt, um, I felt very, good i was like there's no way i'm not gonna win this and then we went to that end game yeah i think i made too many mo unnecessary moves but still i know that that end game is winning even if i just exchange one rook that end game is winning so no i was sure that i was gonna win i was just afraid to maybe plunge or something <laughs> then we saw when you won the game how you reacted and uh, we have it on screen right now and also <laughs> uh, here it is your win your surprise at winning, and also a beautiful moment there with, with uh, your husband. What did it mean to be a champion with your husband in attendance? I think he's the only one who believed this outcome could happen today. And I don't know. I have to thank him because he's the one who supports me the most, and he's the one who told me to believe in myself that everything still could go my way today. Yes, and we saw him in here as you try to uh, gather yourself and realize that you are indeed the champion of these here United States. And here it is, a special moment <laughs> with your husband. How hard did you guys work and think about this event so that you could, you could possibly win it after coming in second place next year? I mean, last year. Um, <clears throat> so actually, I, since last championship, I haven't played chess much, but this last couple of months, I was seriously preparing for this tournament and my husband was helpful. He was supporting me as much as he could in any way he could. And we knew coming in that this was going to be my big event, so I wanted to do my best. And actually a couple of days ago when um, I made a quick draw against Sabina and uh, Satanskrieg blundered the queen against Tarev, I was like,
Okay, luck is on Tata's side. There's no way I'm going to win this. And I actually got quite sad. <laughs> and again, my husband was the only one who told me that everything could still go my way. And everything and is going your did. way. <laughs> I, I have to say, though, I do feel terrible for my friend Tatev. I think she also played really well and deserved to win this tournament, especially because she was so close so many times. This is just my second time, and I really feel bad for her. You did not lose a single game last year. You did not lose a single game this year. You played a wonderful chess. Your final thoughts on what it means to be the U.S. women's champion. I, sir, I really still cannot believe this has happened. I have to excuse me, game just ended 10 minutes ago. Um, it's unbelievable. I mean, I'm, I actually feel proud of myself that I finished two tournaments without losing a game. And uh, this was like my dream to win US Women's Championship. Well, congratulations. You're a deserving winner. Fantastic chess. We're waiting to see you get the Grandmaster title because you play like a Grandmaster Thank you very this much. tournament. Congratulations on Thank being the so champion. Much. Nazi Pakidzi, the champion, the, the women's champion of the United States of America. Fantastic result for her and completely well deserved. Our deepest congratulations indeed, Nazi. Well